you about the mark of the beast and the antichrist real quick. Okay, uh, mark of the beast is going to be a, a, a global world system that you won't be able to, to participate in unless you reject Jesus Christ. This system, this system, you won't be able to buy, trade, or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. And then if you and if you don't become a part of it, they'll kill you and your family and all that stuff. So one thing about the mark of the beast is they they have this chip called the RFID chip, which is radio frequency ID chip. The Lord identified through through his prophets that that is the mark of the beast, and you can't accept it. You can't let them implant it in you. No. Don't let them put it in you as a tattoo. Don't ingest it, and don't let them implant it in your right hand, like the Bible says in Revelation. Said no man will buy, trade, or sell without the mark. And then they get they get the uh, mark of the beast in their in their right hand and in their forehead. That's what the that's what the Word of God says. And it says that any man that takes the mark of the beast, you're gonna come down with these grievous sores and also. God's not going to let you into heaven because that's the ultimate form of treason. This RFID chip is a GMO, so if you take it, it's going to kill you. Eventually, the chip is going to kill you itself, and so you'll lose your life, and on top of that, you'll lose your soul. So the Antichrist, he's going to be a flesh man that's going to come on the scene, and he's going to be having supernatural powers that he gets from the devil. And he's going to be able to do miracles right in front of you. And so he's going to go into the temple over there in Jerusalem and pretend to be God. And all that stuff like that. So this guy, I mean, when he comes on the scene, he's going to be a smooth talker. Everybody's going to be in love with him because at first he's going to be uniting all the religions and bringing about world peace and all that stuff. And then the aliens, the, the UFOs, which are really demons posing as aliens are going to come down and confirm him like yeah this is the guy and this is God and we're on God's side and all this bunch of nonsense let me tell you how the real God comes back when Jesus Christ returns back he ain't doing world peace he's coming back as a conqueror and he first thing he does he burns up his enemies with fire that comes out of his mouth from the word his word sets people on fire the, the word coming from Jesus cuts like a sword and, and, and devours up all his enemies and people that's all underground, those Satanists, they're going to be trying to hide out and all that stuff. And they ain't going to be able to hide out because they're going to see him coming even through the rock. So he's going to make sure of that. So that's how the real Jesus Christ comes back. He comes back as a God. A God that's putting fire on his enemies. It won't, it won't be no mistakes. But before that, there's going to be false Christ and, and, and rising up like fake Jesus Christ. And then the, the, the Satanists and all these enemies are going to be saying, yeah, we got Jesus in the secret place. Come with us and we're going to show you Jesus and all that stuff. It's going to be fake. But the real Jesus, you ain't, ain't nobody got to go show you the real Jesus. Because when he comes, every eye is going to see him at the same time. So there's, there's no mistake. That's the most grand entrance there is. So don't fall for any of that other stuff. Don't fall for the Antichrist pretending to be God because he got a little bit of powers that he got from the devil and, and, and technology because they, they, with Project Blue Beam, they can make holograms of any religious figure that you want to think of just to fool you. So don't fall for any of that stuff. Uh, if they tell you you can't eat and, and we're going to kill your children or we're going to do all this and that, hey, you still can't deny Jesus. You got to hang on to Jesus no matter what because guess what? Jesus Christ died for us. You know, he took our penalty on the cross. You know, where all of us have sinned and, and was worthy of, 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 you know, the ultimate punishment. But Jesus said, hey, I'll take their punishment for them. He said that to the Father. So he took our place on the cross so that we can have a chance to live with God and Jesus in heaven. So we can't wimp out and we can't deny him just so we can eat food or, or, or feed our family or save our own lives. You know, that's a coward move. So we can't do that. And if you do that, it's unforgivable. And don't think you're going to take the mark of the beast and then try to cut it off you later on and stuff because that thing ties into your nervous system. So once you have it, they can pretty much control you. You know what I mean? So if you, you have it, it's it. It's a wrap. You know what I mean? And then they can control you just like a robot. You won't be able to repent. And if you ain't doing what they said, they can send a signal to that chip and it will cause you great pain in your body. So do not take the RFID chip. Do not take the mark of the beast. Hang on to Jesus with all you got. And don't fall for no fake Jesus. No false Jesus. Because Jesus ain't going to come back as no flesh man and be hiding out in some secret place or some flesh Jesus, somebody walking around. No. 
when the real Jesus Christ come back, he come back as God. And the first thing he's doing is burning up his enemies. He came peaceful the first time. And what did they do to him? They killed him. They murdered him. They were jealous of him. You know what I mean? So this stuff is getting pretty serious, all right? So uh, I'll tell you about the Noah High Laws. The Noah High Laws put teeth behind the mark of the beast system. Because the Noah High Laws came from the Sanhedrin. The Sanhedrin is the same punks that killed Jesus back in his day. Those losers. They, they murdered Jesus because they was jealous of him. Because Jesus was doing a good thing. He wasn't doing all that fake religion like you see in these, these fake churches now. That's all. 